Welcome everybody to Extreme Power No Handling Autocross and today we're dealing with the uh, 1977 AMC Pacer X now this has a 962 horsepower, 806 pounds feet of torque from a 7 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the car itself weighs 3,189 pounds it's got rear wheel drive only and it can run up to 60 in 8.710 seconds not to 113.001 seconds and it can go on to a top speed of 178 miles an hour so uh, yeah so if you can hear a fan in the background but it is incredibly hot today and that's why uh, these usual free videos that I do out in within an hour are going to be a bit more spaced out as well just because it's so god I'm hot in my room right now with computer on and the TV on and everything so yeah I do apologize for that but yeah this is the uh, final car in uh, the series of uh, subcompacts from the 70s that I am doing that is unless obviously a uh, future car comes out in a DLC car pack but I'm not expecting it so uh, yeah, this AMC, so uh, the Gremlin didn't do all that well in uh, an episode, a couple of episodes back. Uh, in fact, it's one of the uh, worst cars that we've actually had in terms of actual time. It's in the top, bottom ten. So, uh, yeah, the Chevrolet Vega did it slightly better. It was about more than two seconds quicker, but it wasn't still brilliant. So uh, maybe this will do better, but it has more weight than both of those cars. It has less power because I had to try and keep the weight down because the only other thing I could do on it was uh, put intercoolers or anything like that on and it would have tipped it over 3,200 pounds and I want to keep it as lightweight as possible because it is already at a disadvantage compared to the other two cars. So yeah, let's uh, see what it can do. Again, sorry if uh, my uh, talking is a bit slow but the heat is really, really uh, getting to me right now. Alright, so yeah. The smallest wide car as they build it back in the day. Whether or not that's going to help in any way, I don't know. But yeah, it's got far more power than it had originally. It only had 120 horsepower from an inline six engine, so got a much bigger engine. And uh, yeah, far more power. Handling wise, I'm not really sure what it's going to be compared to with the likes of the Vega or the Gremlin purely because well it was so slow in stock form that you couldn't really uh, push the handling to its limits so I was never really sure what it could do handling wise but as you can see it's struggling for the rear end grip that's for sure I think the brakes are at least better on this than on the Gremlin. Um, I'm not sure whether or not it has as much understeer issues. Yeah, that's a pretty terrible first time. That 1 minute 14.274. Not even really got that much acceleration on its side either, to be honest. Suspension is really rather wobbly. Steering doesn't really give me all that much feedback. This even stock is easily uh, the slowest of the uh, three subcompacts that I've taken out recently. You'd struggle to break 100 mile an hour, and yeah, you'd be forever trying to get there in the first place. And um, acceleration-wise, it's far worse than the likes of the Vega and the Gremlin. But that is an improved time, nonetheless, at 1 minute 9 seconds, 0 0.069. Dearing me. Yeah, don't really have all that much control with this vehicle to be honest. to be 
be so careful on the throttle just because the rear end will just break loose whenever it likes. Like there. Barely even doing 50 mile an hour and it wants to spin its wheels and oversteer. Suspension doesn't have a clue what it wants to do. And me thinking this car wouldn't have understeer, even though it didn't have it really stock, it was wrong because it does have it with this engine and this power. It really doesn't like to turn in very well. It's a car of many quirks, quite frankly. And the brakes don't seem much better than the Gremlins either. So, yeah. Another prediction out the window there. Really don't think the extra weight over the likes of the Gremlin is helping either. The Gremlin isn't a light car compared to the likes of the Vega, but compared to this, I think it's at least a couple hundred pounds, maybe even more lighter, and yeah, it really doesn't make the difference, because yeah, the Gremlin's got no better ex uh, handling, to be honest, certainly in terms of suspension and brakes, but not having the extra weight does help, whereas here, the suspension is having to deal with all the extra power, speed, etc. like that, while also dealing with, well, a car that is at least as heavy as it was originally, if not heavier. And it just can't handle it, quite frankly. So yeah, we'll have to settle there for a time of 1 minute 7.901, which is slower than the Gremlin, but not quite as much as I, as I was expecting, because the Gremlin was 1 minute 7.634, so this is less than 0.3 of a second slower than that car. But it's still slower than on the less. But it is at least quicker than the Mayor's Manx, the Morgan Free Wheeler, the Abar 595 and the Mercury Coupe. But yeah, slower than the Gremlin, slower than the Jeep Willys MB, slower than the Volvo 1800E and way slower than the Vega by, yeah, more than two seconds. So, yeah, not a great showing from this car. Really wasn't anything, to be honest, to be positive about. The handling was shocking, the brakes were shocking, the suspension was all over the place. It understeered, it oversteered, it didn't have all that much acceleration, didn't really get up to anything kind of, any kind of speeds that you'd expect from a car with nearly a thousand horsepower, even with, you know, having stock handling, at least the Gremlin and the uh, Vega were able to do that, even vaguely, whereas this just struggled to do everything, quite frankly, and yeah, I'm really, I'm surprised how much, how small of a difference it is between this and the Gremlin, quite frankly, in terms of the time, I was expecting it to be far slower while I was out driving, because, yeah, just utterly, utterly useless, and uh, yeah, but then again, I guess that just shows how useless the lights of the uh, slower cars that are slower than this are, compared to this, if this can beat them, because, yeah, no real positives whatsoever. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.